Hey, it's Chris here. I'm just uh, getting on here another day with another video to get on a wrap a little bit about some things. Um, I'm trying something new with this record direct with YouTube here. Um, hopefully the video quality is the same as uh, my phone, and I think that it will be. So I think we're in good shape. Um, could be better. We're going direct with YouTube. So anyway, um, I want to talk about some things that have uh, been talked about on other channels, about music licensing, about... Um, creating a time frame for your music in a particular library and if it's exclusive or non-exclusive and how long should you keep it in that library if it doesn't get any placements at a certain period of time and uh, there's a difference of opinions everybody has their opinion but based on my experience i'll give you my opinion and it's simply this this is going to be kind of a quick short video so i want to get to the point here um because i've got to run and go do something and i can be back later but anyway um i've heard people say after a year if you don't get any placements in a particular library, get your music out of there and find another library. Get it out of there, find another library. I beg to differ, and I'm going to disagree with that, and I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> I've had publishers I've been with for 10 years, and I've got a lot of tracks with them. Now, remember, the key here is volume. You get with a library. This is where I talk about you got to research the library that's getting a lot of placements for the music that you do. If they're taking that music, they're going to get it placed. Just take some time. It takes time for that track to fit a project. I've had tracks in a library eight years and finally got placed in good placements. I've had them two or three. I've had them get placed immediately. And, I, I, and the cool thing is that if I release like albums like through CD Baby and then I connect it with a publisher, some of those get placed pretty quickly, it's weird. Uh, or if I do a set of music for some, you know, it's weird things that I do sometimes seem to get pretty quick placements. I don't know what that is, the formula for that, and maybe one day I'll figure that out, but I do know it's a specific genre of music that is getting placed with that publisher. Um, and this particular publisher is underscore and rock, mainly, and... Uh, you're not going to get any headway if you don't just set it, forget it, and don't fret it. The key is volume. You want to get the music out there, spread the seed to different publishers, but work, do what you do the best, the most, and work with the publishers who are getting the work and try to get them volume. In other words, just keep driving music in that library. This particular publisher, I got 600 and something tracks with them. And uh, going to be more by the end of the year. And, and you've got to get on it and, 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 and get the music produced. Don't start just moving your music around. It's, it's the same concept as when you invest money in your 401k and you fear that the economy is going to tank. And you go, I'm going to pull my money out of there and bury it in the backyard. You cannot do that. Don't do that. Because if you look at the history of investments, from the beginning of time where it all started, it's it may have gone down, but it's always gone up further than it was. And it dipped down, but it's always gone up and up further. It's never gone down lower than it was and never come and has never come back up it's always gone up that's why you always leave your money in investments the only frustration is that the government would stay if the government would stay out of it they wouldn't screw up your retirement if you had a target to retire and have to wait for the economy to come back for your investment to get better that's the only sad part about it. the government that's all that has nothing to do with this they need to stay out of that but anyway government needs to stay out of our business but Beside that point, your music is in the same realm. Don't just take it out and then throw it back in because there's a chance if you take it out and then all of a sudden you see they're getting a lot of placements and you have a need to want to put it back in that library. They may not take it back because they know you took it out. So just remember, there's loyalty here to these libraries. you got to be loyal, but you got to work for them. they got to have volume in these libraries to get anything, and I'll tell you why. If you have volume in a particular library that gets a certain genre a place, and you've got a lot of that genre, and it's good quality music. That's important. It's got to be good quality music. It's better odds of your music being seen when they're spinning through these players or online. Uh, this particular publisher I work with, um, in fact, I'll tell you who it is. It's Jingle Box. They have a player. They don't post their music publicly. It's a player for all their clients, and uh, their clients start picking some of your music, and, and this has happened to me. They're going to go back and search your name and see what you're you're putting in every month. They want to see that you keep putting music in. They go, what is Chris Williams putting in this month? 
They do. They look at this. I have another publisher. They uh, showcased me as a featured composer on their webpage, on the front page. And they said, Chris, these clients, they will listen to your music. They'll go search you every month. They want to know that you're putting music in there and it's, things are relevant and spinning. So it's a volume thing. Don't, don't just take it out in a year because you haven't gotten a placement. You can't put a time frame on that stuff. It takes time. This is not an overnight business. It takes time. It could take a few years. And you got to be patient. And that's how this thing works, guys. And it be more to come later. I've got to run, go take care of some stuff. But I will be back later for another video. Be cool. Bye.